going to try to make candles. I have no idea how this is going to turn out, but I have supplies. I have things, right? I got, I went to Hobby Lobby and I got the stuff. Yeah, I got wicks. I've got thing to actually like put the wax in so it molds it appropriately. I've got jasmine scented essential oils because I'm not using those some I already bought because that other stuff was expensive, not doing it. And I've got some black color squares because black candles always more for the win, makes life better. I'm hoping this will turn out okay. Last time I tried to kind of make my own candles, it just made a big old mess and I ruined some pots. So we're going to definitely find a pot. We're gonna double boil this. I'm gonna follow. I haven't. I got a book. I got a book. I am. I am prepared, hopefully, to make these and do this correctly. So we'll see how this goes. Got a good one. Let's see if this actually comes out of this now. Good sign. Boom! Oh, that's actually really freaking pretty. <laughs> oh, that's so pretty. It definitely smells like jasmine. Oh, success. I think I made my first candle successfully. Oh, this is a good sign. So one of the things I attempted to do was make my own candles, right? Oh. Um, the first candle actually went pretty damn well because I was being cautious and I wasn't too chaotic with anything and it all went Decently enough and then well it got weird and that because I was like, oh well it went so well the first time I can level this up This will be fine, which it was perfectly fine until I got overconfident when basically I have this old uh, Wooden thing that used to have this really great smelling candle in it It had a little bit of leftover wax because the wicks weren't big enough to burn it all and I was like, okay Well, you know what? I want to make a candle and it had room for three wicks So I was like, okay I'll make a black candle mixed with a bunch of full moon herbs and I'll do all the stuff and then I will pour that into that container and I can burn and each wick will be a wick for each of my deities that I've been using and I'll use it on Samhain, it'll be great. And it went perfectly fine. I put the herbs in there, I dyed all the wax black, melted all the wax together, everything was great. And then I just attempted to move <laughs> the candle too soon. And wax got all over my mother's floor that she just tiled. It got all over the dishwasher, it got all over the counter. Thankfully, enough of it stayed within the container. <laughs> But rule number one, Sam, don't get overconfident with your wax moving. Don't move the wax until it is stable and you are put the candle and you pour the candle in a place where it can stay until it gets hardened. But yeah, but I would say semi-success. Definitely got a little bit messy, but melting and melting old wax that I have been using now and then also just making candles on the regular, I think might become a thing that I do a lot in my practice because I really, it wasn't that hard of a process once I like actually knew what the hell I was doing. And two, I like the fact that now all that extra wax isn't going to waste and it's just something extra and fun. So that's pretty much my, my candle making journey. Comment down below if you know of any other fun ways to make candles, have you attempted to make candles, other fun candle magic and things. I love having gray and black candles around because I don't know, they're kind of harder to find. So knowing that I can just go out and get some like wax dye and use whatever leftover wax I have from any candle, mix it all together, make it black and good to go, just makes me very, very happy. So anyway, this is part of Utober, so I will see you guys tomorrow and yeah.